I don't care what anyone says, this movie is funny. But then I like Adam Sandler and The Water Boys a modern classic. Really, there's only one Adam Sandler movie I don't like and that's Little Nicky. I just never could get into that. This, however, is my bag. First of all, I love how the town looked. It reminded me a lot of where I grew up in New England. This takes place in Salem, Massachusetts. I was born in Massachusetts and then I moved to Connecticut when I was about five or six years old. So I'm pretty much New England through and through. If you ever wondered what it's like to experience Halloween in New England, this movie really captured the feel of it. Except for one thing, it's too damn cold to dress up like Harley Quinn on Halloween. I remember some Halloweens where you could see her breath and we had to wear winter coats either over or if we could fit it underneath our costumes. That said, I gotta say that Halloween in Orlando is pretty amazing. It's like Mardi Gras, but everyone on the street is in costume. Still drunk, but in costume and people here take their costumes seriously. I think one of the things I like best about Halloween in Orlando is that anyone could be anything. I saw an Asian Superman. I saw a guy who was dressed as Wonder Woman. Last year, one of the children that trick-or-treated at my house was dressed as the iceberg that sunk the Titanic. He was a creative little guy. Speaking of Orlando, does anyone remember the terror on Church Street? It was a scare house that was so good. I mean, like movie production level good. And I feel like it was the precursor to Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. That said, there's one place I really want to experience Halloween at least once in my lifetime, and that's New Orleans. I'm dressed like Harley Quinn because in this movie, there's a joke about women who dress like Harley Quinn on Halloween. It's funny because it's true. Fun fact, I made this shirt and I actually used to sell them online along with the sequin shorts and the choker. I made this too. And I made a grip off of the Harley Quinn costumes on Etsy one year until they started mass producing them and selling them on Hot Topic. So anyways, this costume is about as played out as the Joker costume, so I'm going to go ahead and remix it and then get right to review. That's better. And I have about three more weeks before this one is played out too. This movie is loaded with well-known actors and comedians. I'm not going to list them because it's more fun for you to see them when they pop up. There's also a gang of child and teen actors that all did such a great job. Plus they all looked and spoke like they were genuinely having a good time. This movie is just silly fun. There's lots of sight gags, physical humor, and witty dialogue to laugh at. Plus it has different levels of jokes. There's certain jokes that kids are going to really get a kick out of, I think. And then there's some jokes that might go over their heads, but will make you laugh as an adult. The one bit that didn't really make me laugh was the bit with the radio DJs. I didn't really care for it, but that's just me. This movie is for horror fans. There's so many references to classic horror from the 1930s up to the 90s. Plus, this is a great looking movie. No doubt Adam Sandler got a big check from Netflix. And in this, he's actually showing off that money. Unlike Tyler Perry, who I believe just pocketed his Netflix money and made that last movie off of $2 of Bitcoin and three Trident layers. Speaking of Tyler Perry, the wigs in this movie are really good. Especially Rob Snyder's wig. If you didn't know him, you would think that was his hair. I say go into this movie blind, watch it without even watching the trailer. And just relax and laugh a little. Especially right now, we all need a good laugh. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. And just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen Hubie Halloween? Have I been saying Hubie Halloween this whole video or Hubby Halloween? I don't remember. But it's Hubie Halloween. Have you seen it? Are you going to watch it? If you have seen it, let me know in the comments. I hope you all appreciate that I did about an hour and a half worth of makeup to do like a 10 minute video. Because I just wanted to do that one sight gag.